using his voice, how Dave dropped out of high school for music and now expertly handles being the boss of the Foo Fighters, right. how sitting behind a drum set reminds Dave of his Nirvana days, where things were rocky at the end before Kurt committed suicide. I'm getting my oatmeal. I'm trying to hear John. Well, the boys bring it in when I'm on the air. Oh, this is Lisa's. Who gives a fuck what John has to say? He's repeating the whole show. Oh, my God, I can't hear him. <laughs> Why other musicians don't say fuck you to Glee in the red carpets as Dave did, and what is it about my hero? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Go on. Don't stop. <laughs> Screw your eyes. Right. <laughs> and what is it about my hero that always gets Howard so choked up as he was again today? Yeah, I got choked up. I'm not kidding you. When I started to think about the song. Crazy. Yes, Captain Jenks. Hmm. Yeah, good morning. Yeah, that's what I, exactly what I wanted to ask you about, Howard. That was a really, really weird moment right there when uh, you, you turned into a pussy and started crying in front of his role. I didn't cry. I almost did. I almost turned well, into a that? pussy. What is that all about? You know what? What it's about? I'm fucking. I'm getting old, man. I'm, I'm losing my testosterone. Oh wow! Can end of this contract. Let me tell you something. At the end of this contract, I'm out of here because I'll end up being a fucking woman. I don't oh, want, you're getting so emotional? I don't want you guys to see that. <laughs> Howard, I got, I got a little embarrassed when that happened. I don't know why. I guess it's because I've been listening to you for so long. You? What oh, about I me? I wish they had broken out in song at that moment. Next, you know what I'm going to do? I'm really? going to, in five years, I'm going to host a Martha Stewart type show. <laughs> where, where I can cry all I want. You'll be making crafts yeah. and crying. No, I did not cry, Jenks, but I almost did. I, I'll admit it. I was so weird. Can you play that, could, you, could, you, could you play that song right now to see what happens? There it is. I'm crying like a baby. So beautiful. So beautiful. Too <laughs> now to talk about. Wow. <laughs> There's Howard. There I go. <laughs> down, check it out. <laughs> Truth or consequence. Say it aloud. <laughs> Use that evidence. Race it around. There goes my hero. Watch him There goes my hero. He's on the mirror. Everybody's watching Howard. <laughs> now, at the moment, has gone. While the rest I'm thinking about garbage and bad pussy, oh, so I don't cry. <laughs> See, after 60, men become women and women become men. You ever seen some of these broads run around? They, they look like they cut their you hair short. You know that is absolutely true because yep. your testosterone level drops. Yeah. And women are more uh, easily affected by their testosterone at a certain point. So I hope when I absolutely true. We sort of meet in the middle somewhere as a unisex. I hope <laughs> when I become a woman, I'm a pretty woman because you should see their lives they live. These pretty women. Next contract, you'll be the guy and I'll be the woman. All right. We'll go in there. I'll be Robin. You'll be Howard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking about JD's growth to keep me from tearing up right now. <laughs> That ought to make you cry. Dad, I might cry. Uh-oh. It's got to. I'm trying to work on it. There goes my hero. He's ordinary. There goes my hero. Watch him as he goes.
out my tears, I'm thinking about Tim Sabian. <laughs> you don't cry when you think of Tim? No. Stopped it. Wow. <laughs> it sounds so good. I got the show. Beautiful. All right. Jenks, you didn't get me. Jenks is crying. All right, thank you. What else you got there, Johnny? Plus, Howard, you hate your Twitter followers, but you had a great night popping something on your, the base of your penis. Right. I abandoned my droid for an iPhone so I could stay close to you. Richard explains why he's not inviting Ralph to his wedding. The dentist finds a growth under J.D.'s tongue that could be a result from Whoremouth. Ronnie's 25 votes couldn't save Pia from getting kicked off of American Idol. And everything else that happened today, we'll talk about on the wrap-up show. All right, Johnny, thank you. We look forward to the wrap-up show. Beautiful. And now, Robin, time for news. Is it between her legs? Although that makes me hard, <laughs> that's not why I blow my wad. If you want to know why I drop a load of Robin sticks. That's why I just, hey now. This Robin sticks. That's why I just. I squeeze it tight until my cup flows. Why I come? The reason is it's cause Robin's tits. Is it a sexy ass? Although that looks great, <laughs> that's not the reason I masturbate. I mean, tears over this. Wow. No, why I drop a load of Robin's then you'll cry over anything. Yeah, there were a whole bunch of songs about you uh, that came in. Well, let them, you know, sit and stew, and, you know, stew. one a day is fine. Oh, uh, come on. <laughs> uh, Robin, what is in the news? Come on. Well, you talked about this earlier. I had to go look it up because I didn't believe this was possible. Right. And it's not what you said. Uh, mm. An insect didn't transmit the dis sexual disease to the wife. Oh, too bad. No, what happened was the husband was in Africa somewhere. Right. And he got bitten by some mosquito that causes a bone disease. Oh, not an STD? Not really an STD. Mm -hmm. This is the first case of transmission to another person through sex. So she got the bone disease through sex? Yeah, wow. through sex with her husband after he was bitten by a mosquito. Well, that's even more scary. That's horrible. Yeah. yeah. Maybe sex is wrong. <laughs> Maybe sex that. is wrong. Yeah. Even between a husband and wife. Yeah, maybe. You know, <laughs> that should have protected say, them. Sex should be only between a husband <laughs> and wife. No, it shouldn't. It's disgusting. <laughs> well, Five days. Uh... You want to know something? You know, people laugh at me. They say, oh, you're married and you wear a rubber. I said, listen, how do I know I'm, you know, I'm not going to give my, my wife something if I get bit by a mosquito? I, I protect her. It's good stuff. Wear, I wear rubbers. I like it. Listen. And plus, I don't want a baby. Right. Oh. That's the worst infection of all. Oh, my God. That's, <laughs> that's a terrible STD. <laughs> but, uh, uh, listen, that's a scary thought, what you're saying. Yeah, he was bitten while he was collecting these mosquitoes in Senegal. Mm. When he went home, he had sex with his wife, and he unknowingly transmitted the disease to her. Wow, we. Hey, Kevin, you're on the air. What's happening in Kansas City? Hey, now. Hey, now. Now, Alan, I'm a little biased, but I just want to congratulate you on the Dave Grohl interview. That was fucking phenomenal. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I, I love uh, Dave, and it's uh, a rare opportunity. We get to interview him. We haven't seen him in, we, we think, at least five years. It's, yeah, I knew he had never been here in this studio. I like him because I really do feel the guy is an incredible talent, right? I yeah, mean, I, oh, for sure. Yeah, I love him because I grew up a huge, huge Nirvana fan, and I'm a huge Foo Fighters fan, and, and I'm an absolute super fan of this show, so it's absolute home run. Good. Okay, Kevin, thank you. Rob, what else Now, is this is a very bizarre thing, Howard. I just read this. In Jamaica, people are bleaching their skin. Black people. Yeah, are, well, white people aren't bleaching their skin. The Jamaicans are mostly black. I'm pointing that out. A lot of people don't know about Jamaicans. Oh, I see. All right, so Jamaicans are bleaching their skin to what? To be white people? To be the cafe au lait color of the elite class, I, I guess, right. in their society. Well, in the black community, if you're very black, at least when I was growing up, the kids would make fun of you. They'd say, oh, man, you're so black. Like, if you were light-skinned, you were better. It's a sad thing to see, actually. Although at the time, I was just happy no one was beating me up. <laughs> you were the lightest of the light. I was, hey, I'm light. Why are you beating me up? <laughs> uh, why, am I, why am I not in the ruling class here? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, they, 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 the light-skinned blacks 
are more valued in the black community, if you could imagine. I think things are starting to change with guys like Jay-Z, who's a real black man. Uh, you got guys like uh, Biggie Smalls. That's a real black man. Well, I don't think so, because usually they try to find cafe au lait or light or women uh, right. to be their mates. So I don't know that, you know, just because a dark-skinned man manages to do well, uh, that he's mm -hmm. likely funny. to do something like take a dark-skinned woman as his mate. It's funny with you. Sometimes I feel you're cafe au lait. And then sometimes I feel you're darker. <laughs> right now, now you look cafe au lait. Based on the day, I'm What's... trying to think how valuable you are. You are light skinned, aren't you? You are light skinned. Wouldn't you consider oh, yourself light skinned? Goodness. Well, I mean, no, you're a real black I'm, woman. I'm not a light skinned woman. No. Do you have? You're a real black woman. I just realized. That. <laughs> and you've been working with me all this but time. But you, ha but sometimes you appear very light. Well, it depends. It depends on the lighting, I guess. And you don't have a broad, flat nose. No, no. It's almost I don't. like you had a nose job. I didn't. My father had a very thin white type nose. I guess you would call it, uh, yeah, a no. Caucasian nose. Yeah. Look at you. <laughs> let me admire you. Please. Let me let me stare at you for I a while. I think it's so sad that people are sitting. This is, you know, they get these creams in Jamaica and they rub them all over their bodies and they try to stay out of the sun. She rub so some of that, that on uh, Sal's cock. They can be lighter, even though they've been told that it could be dangerous. Remember the other day when Sal was in here and, and Jason always goes, what's with your dick? It's black. <laughs> he needs to lighten up his dick. Yeah. Ariel, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hi. Um, I want to... Uh, let's start. You were talking about the, the wild cats. Yes. yes. And people keeping them as pets. Um, my family actually used to have a lion, an African lion. Oh, yeah. And Man. as a pet... Uh, we lived in a neighborhood. In Houston? In, no, in Killeen, Texas. Yeah. And uh, we lived in a neighborhood, and her name was Kitty Kitty. Well, and... I mean, you're clearly your parents are mental patients, right? <laughs> no, I mean, um, it was just, it was our family pet. Uh, how many legs how are you missing? How long did you keep? How many I mean, legs are you missing? <laughs> no, I mean, I, I have all my body parts still. My dad. You know, there's a movie out. I, I watched some of it this week, and I had to turn it off because I was so disgusted by the amount of idiots in this country. There's a tremendous amount of people in places like Texas and Florida, especially, uh, that uh, it's called the uh, the elephant in the room, mm -hmm. and uh, that's the name of the uh, video. People are bored and they get lions and cougars and uh, boa had, constrictors. Had cougar. You had a cougar too. Yeah, we had the lion and because we lived in the neighborhood they eventually uh, made us get rid of it. Uh, they, they, I, made, they took away your yeah, freedom. You didn't have the good sense to get rid of it. <clears throat> well, we, my dad used to walk it around the neighborhood on a, on a leash and harness. And, you know what it tells me, and I hate to say this Ariel, how old are you? I am 23. It means your parents didn't value you much. <laughs> you weren't <laughs> enough. I was very young. Uh, I was about four years old uh, when we had the, the lion. And uh, my dad had, uh, he'd drive around with her in, in his Corvette. Wow. And uh, he took her to PetSmart. <laughs> and uh, eventually we had to uh, give her to a zoo. Oh, and, you were made to give her to a zoo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then we moved out into the country, and he got the cougar. <sighs> and uh, I was... In, I think, middle school at the time. You know, when you yeah. see a beautiful animal like that, it really should be living with a pride in the jungle. And and it's so sad that these people, and there's a lot of this going on in the country. Yeah, it is. And it causes, it's, it's mayhem because... Do they defang no, these no, animals? They don't no, generally? no, no. They, they, well, the cougar, I don't remember what they did with the lion, but the cougar, uh, she was declawed. And they also, they filed down the canines. Because those are the, the, the teeth that would, you know, bite through the, the jugular or whatever. Uh, but they file down the canines. And so, you know, she was fairly harmless. We gave her a, a live rooster once, and it took her quite a while to actually kill it because she couldn't. Yeah, uh, she didn't have her weapons. Yeah, she didn't have any of her weapons. She basically had to chase it around until it got tired, and then she ate it. Oh, God. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. But, uh, but yeah, it, it was very. It was a very interesting uh, childhood. All right, Ariel. Thank you. I thank you. All right, that's wild. I mean, this is what I'm talking.